What is your favorite conspiracy theory? The 10-year challenge on Facebook in 2019, which encouraged Facebook users to upload pictures from 2009 and a current one from 2019, was actually a front by programmers to gain data and examples to train facial recognition and age progression software. Sometimes these weird celebrity baby names are fake names to try and protect the child's privacy. That the Kardashian sisters keep their brother chubby so they can use his fat for their injections. That the mark to fill up laundry detergent is purposefully higher than it should so you buy more. Women close lack pockets so the bag, purse industry can thrive. The Department of Transportation bought too many orange barrels and now they have nowhere to store them, so they just place them for miles along the highway. That Dave and Buster's are the same people as Barnes and Noble. Dave Barnes and Buster Noble. That we've had cars able to run off of alternate fuel sources for decades, but at every turn progress was stopped by oil and gas companies. Chrysler had the turbine car in the early 60s that would run off of anything that burned. Chevy was experimenting with electric cars with the Electrovair in the mid-60s which had a range of 40 to 80 miles. General Motors had the EV1 in the 90s. We should be decades ahead of where we are now. Favorite is in the one I find the funniest, most interesting is probably the Elvis still being alive ones. The guy was pumped with so many drugs during his career and didn't take care of his body. He lived the rock and roll lifestyle and paid the price. Bigfoot is actually just naturally blurry, that's why there are no good photos. Anything involving the Denver airport. Secret military bunker, meeting place for some secret cult, the meaning behind the murals, the gargoyle statue, Lucifer, etc. I live in Colorado so I like this type of attention. Everyone on Reddit is a bot except me. Edit, to be clear I meant bottom. Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, is actually the son of Fidel Castro. First, Justin looks like a young Fidel, obviously and nothing like Pierre Trudeau. And Pierre and Margaret Trudeau were rumored to be swingers. They were in Cuba in early 1971, around February or March and Justin was born Christmas of that year, about nine months later. Nobody shot JFK, his head just did that. Here I go again, this needs to be brought back to everyone's attention. The entire Jeffrey Epstein thing. I actually believe this one to be true, unlike the 9-11, QAnon, and other completely bullcrap stories. As far as I can remember, QAnon was a 4chan prank. But the Epstein thing is so hard to not believe. My dad worked as a cop and seen quite a few dead bodies. Those bruises are really weird. It would make sense if the makeshift rope would move up his throat as more weight was dragging him down. But the marking on the front of his throat are too thin for a noose made out of clothing. Hanging suicides have different bruises depending on what the instrument is, and this looks way too thin, almost like a wire. And he also had broken neck bones. There is no way he was going to be able to break his own effing neck, and while it is possible to hang yourself while your feet are touching the ground, it would require a much bigger fall to break his neck. Plus, why the F would the cameras not work, in that exact moment? Why wasn't he under constant in-person supervision just in case, when they clearly knew that he could have possibly been a high-value target for some people? He got a good deal for the name list. And he just happens to kill himself right before he is supposed to give it in. Max will better have an armed guard on her at all times. Makeup ruins the skin, making women use more makeup until it becomes an endless loop. The true conspiracy against Stevia. The sugar lobbyists managed to get Stevia outlawed decades ago in the United States with false, and negative press. The stevia plant is up to 100 times sweeter than sugar, zero calories, doesn't rot teeth, all natural and lowers blood pressure. It could replace sugar in all soft drinks and make people healthier but, the sugar companies still have a huge hold on the market and they pay off politicians. Tissue boxes make dust come out when you pull a tissue so that you sneeze more and use more tissues. The Titanic has a few good ones. There were conflicting accounts of how it fell apart in the ocean. How it was actually a whole different ship that went to sea than what the White Star Line company was originally planning it to be. The NBA suspended Michael Jordan for two years for gambling and he went into professional baseball to fill the time. David Stern kept it in the down low. Facebook was actually started as a DARPA intelligence gathering project called LifeLog, which sought to do everything Facebook does now, pretty much. Oddly enough, LifeLog was shut down, or was it, about three weeks before Facebook began. The Loch Ness Monster is the ghost of a dinosaur. Edit, if I get an effing whale penis in my notifications one more goddamn time, I'm gonna lose it. I promise y'all someone else has already said it. 
Edit 2. Everyone who was being creative understood the assignment. Good work, team. Hit the showers. The DART mission yesterday wasn't training. NASA actually saved Earth by that asteroid collision. NASA hired Kubrick to fake the moon landing, and he was such a perfectionist director the only way to satisfy him was to stage the hoax on the actual moon. That PETA is a fake virtue signaling group that's purpose is to make animal activist groups look insane and stupid. Run by companies who profit off animals, the food industry and companies that test on animals. Flat Earth. It takes a special kind of stupid to refuse to believe every shred of evidence, even experiments you can do on your own to prove it, and say nah, it's flat. Every rational person in the world, and all the pilots, are lying. Hitler escaped to Argentina. Celebrities don't get married for love, it is all just business deals and transactions on how it benefits both parties. The government has been in contact with aliens and are operating in the deep depths of the ocean and Antarctica. Yuri Gagarin wasn't the first man in space, he was just the first man to come back alive. JFK shot first. Last Thursdayism. The basic premise is that all of existence spawned into being last Thursday exactly as it is, including what you believe to be memories. You are just a Sims character, being told what to do by some random player. All of the genealogy websites are a government-ran program and the real purpose is to have a database for solving crimes they knew that there would be no way to have people willingly give over their DNA for that purpose so they use genealogy as motivation for people to give up the goods. We also paid for it so it's a double win for the gov. Rocks are soft until you touch them. William Shakespeare never existed. His work is the greatest collection of ghostwriters in human history. Dead internet is a fun one. Supposedly 95% of the internet is just bots trying to sway public perception and keep money flowing. Supposedly it explains why everyone on the internet is so angry and dumb, but as a history nerd that's just giving humanity too much credit. I do think most dumb controversy like the new Little Mermaid thing is mostly drive, or at least kickstarted, by Disney bots for advertising and hype but that's just me. Project MK Ultra is a personal favorite because 1. It actually happened and 2. It has a weird connection to gaming with the whole Polybius thing. It's pretty wild. Finally one that's a bit more niche is the dollar supremacy theory that America used 9-11 as justification to invade Iraq because they were using euros to buy and sell oil instead of US dollar. It just sounds so plausible that I can't help but believe it. I don't think it was an inside job, more like the government was looking for an excuse to get in there and swap some stuff while everyone was feeling patriotic. Prince, King Charles is a prolific prank caller and goes by the pseudonym Frank Garrett when making these crude calls. He calls people around the world and cusses them out using a southern drawl. There's tons of these calls people have recorded and posted on YouTube. If you ever receive a call from a Frank Garrett who makes no sense and repeatedly cusses you out, there is a good chance it is in fact Prince, King Charles. That the Malaysia Flight 370 was taken from aliens and transported to some other planet. And the, more probable, one is that the Malaysia flight was shot down by the Chinese government on accident by the military. Rather than admit to the mistake, the Chinese government they took the black box from the wreck. The weather girls it's raining men and drowning pools let the bodies hit the floor are two viewpoints of the same event. Also, an American scheme. Edit, since this is gaining traction, an American scheme is the theory that Michael Jackson was actually the love child of Smokey Robinson and Diana Ross. Zeppelin are actually a safe, cheap and environmentally friendly way to travel. The Hindenburg was staged on behalf of the airlines to discredit them. Be great if that's true, two-day party crews floating across the Atlantic sounds class. Edit, incredible I have to say this but I don't actually believe this conspiracy theory I just like it. Thank you though to everyone who has taken the time to debunk it. Big pharmacies creating drugs that are knowingly addictive and dangerous and release them. Just to make another drug to help people get off them or a safer alternative. The government makes up a large amount of conspiracy theories and exaggerates real stories to make them less believable and muddy the waters of what's real and fake. The Mandela Effect I read a lot of Berenstain Bears books as a kid and I swear it was Berenstain. And I've read theories about the Hadron Collider causing a dimensional shift which is why some people's memories are different about certain events and other things. The Kennedy family had Marilyn Monroe killed because she'd been sleeping with JFK and Bobby and just knew too much. I know she really just was very sad and likely took her own life, but it wouldn't surprise me if the Kennedys, Kennedys, edit, Kennedys, wanted her gone. 
Thanks for watching. Which conspiracy theory is your favorite, or do you have one not mentioned? Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.